It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Welcome to the Forum. I'm Mike Kerner in for Gary Shorman this week. The Forum brought to you by Hayes Med. And our guest this week, Steve Kyle. He's Director of Development at DSNWK. And, you know, DSNWK has been around for about 50 years now. We'll get into all of that and talk about your big celebration that's coming up in the second half of the show. But, Steve, welcome to the show. I want to talk Thank to you. you a little bit about DSNWK. And, uh, you know, we've heard the name around Hayes for a long time. And you serve a lot of people around the area. How many counties do you serve? We serve a total of eight counties here in northwest Kansas. That's a lot. That so a you lot. guys have to travel a lot? Well we do. We cover guys like 16,000 square miles and so we serve probably about 500 people in a variety of different uh, settings and locations. So 500 people over those areas. Now people uh, that are that you serve, um, how do they qualify or how do they get into the program at DSNWK? Well, um, you know, basically they would just need to, if, if they're not already in their services, they would need to call us and talk to our funding manager to kind of see um, how they could qualify. Um, you know, it depends a lot of times on their disability and, and uh, there's waiting lists and things like that. So, you know, they just need to call and, and um, see what they can do. Now, you have different levels of disability that you serve too throughout the area. In fact, uh, you have um, entire homes that they can stay in too. Absolutely. Um, we have group homes. Some are 24 hour, seven day a week um, supervision. Um, so we have some individuals that do need more constant around the clock uh, care. Um, some need help with feeding and, and changing and things like that. And then we have other group homes where, um, you know, they are more independent. And we also, of course we have uh, group, not group homes, we also have um, apartments. And so there's some individuals that live in their own apartment, may have a roommate, some don't have a roommate. Some require, you know, very little supervision at all and very independent. But they come to you and they, they get your services and you help them find services. And what I mean by services, you can help them find um, resources around the area that they might need to help them in life, maybe uh, helping them with finding a job. Absolutely. You know, our employment uh, program, which we call Employment Connections, is uh, a big part of what we do. We have uh, individuals that uh, some are on cleaning crews or a lawn crews, but we have some that are individually placed. Um, they may be um, in janitorial. Uh, they might be, um, you know, working at Walmart or, or uh, you know, a dishwasher or something like that. And a lot of them, they, you know, they own their their. Pay, they have a paycheck just like anybody else. They um, pay their taxes and rent their, have their apartment rent that they have to pay and, and are very independent. So that's some of the things you probably help them with is getting their taxes or guiding them to where they need to go to get their taxes. You probably help some of them with education too, furthering education. Yeah, absolutely. We have um, individuals that uh, get, you know, further their education in different ways. We've had individuals that actually have purchased their own home. Um, and so we help them with like the first time home buyers and, and we have some that uh, have, you know, bought their own house and are very independent. So, so it's really you're kind of helping these people with disabilities. It's kind of as a guide through life and trying to help them um, with the information they probably need where a lot of us need a lot of information a lot of times, but you're there to help them. Absolutely. Well, each individual that we serve, um, they have a core team and uh, have a life plan and they work uh, on that through their individual service coordinator. And so in the core team, their core team and their life plan basically is um, a structure that they um, set goals and you know their wants and needs and likes and dislikes and things like that, you know. And so some individuals may want to pursue more education or want to own their own home or um, you know, want to, you know, just uh, you know, be more independent in, in some other way. Go to, you know, want to be find a way to get to church or they want to have a, a brother that they've lost c contact with that they'd like to find. Um, and we help them basically, you know, fulfill some of those dreams they have. I'm glad you brought that up because it really goes into detail of all the things you really do for the people that use your services. And your services do run a broad gamut, don't they? They absolutely do. Um, you know, we talked a lot about our residential program mm -hmm. uh, with our group homes and apartments and our employment connections. But we also have a College for Living program, which is our day program. Um, here in Hayes, it's Reed Developmental Center. Um, and that is um, basically set up like a, a college 
and there are semesters. They enroll in classes. Um, some classes might be um, right there at the center. It might be um, a computer class or it might be a dance class or a history class. And then there's some classes that actually take place outside of the four walls of the developmental center. It might be a grocery shopping class that takes place at the grocery store. Might be taught by the store manager and kind of helps them to um, oh, learn how to shop and price compare and learn how to use the checkout machine and, and you know, those kinds of things. And so um, the College for Living program is, is, is a great program. And also. you probably come up with new classes all the time because, well, life changes. Absolutely. Maybe how to use a computer, how to use certain websites, how to, how to, to, to well, like you said, find maybe a relative that you've maybe lost. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, that's kind of neat that you have, the, have these people out there, that can, the, the team that can help guide them through life. I think we all kind of need that, don't we? Um, I think I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lot we want to talk about with DSNWK. How about funding? I know that you guys rely a lot on funding from the state of Kansas. Do you have federal funding that comes your way too? We do. We have, uh, we have federal funding, state funding. Um, we get money from the county, the county mill levy. Um, we also, um, we write a lot of grants. Um, got to get donations and, and uh, things like just from, from the private sector. So I would say the majority of our funding though probably comes from the state. So it gets kind of tough when like the state went through their budget crisis here recently. Things get a little tough for you too because you always you always feel like you're on the chopping block because uh, that's just the way it happens with state funding. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, um, you know, probably within the last, probably these last 10 years, we've had a lot of uh, funding challenges um, because we've, there's either been some reductions or um, we haven't been able to get an increase that we've needed and things like that. And so, you know, like anybody else, then we have to make our own cuts. Um, you know, we used to have a, a developmental center in Colby, and it uh, we had the, it had to close. Um, we had. A, but you're still serving the people out there through yes. the Hayes office. Yes. Well, then those individuals that uh, that were in Colby are are served in another location, and uh, you know we've had to close a group home or two, and those individuals had to move to other group homes, and and uh, and so capacities end up increasing, and you can only you know, increase your capacity in a group home by so many people. And so that can only, you know, last you so long. You can only do that so many times. And um, so, um, but yeah, we've had to, we've had to make some closures and, and things like that. And get creative so, with the grant writing and that too. Absolutely. Or try to, try to real dig deeper to find those grants too. Yeah, we, you know, we work really hard. Um, to um, try to find grants that uh, that help us out, we've started a, a something we call Legacy Society, which is a, an opportunity for people to um, to give uh, their resources to us if they can do that. Um, obviously, you've always had donations. You know, you could always give to developmental services. The Legacy Society is looks more with uh, plan giving and and things like that that people might uh, be interested in in you know, having DSNBK as a part of their will or, or something like that. So. so that's another way people out here that are watching can donate, uh, get a hold of DSNWK or even go to your website and, and learn a little bit more about the Legacy Society. Is it Legacy Society? It is. Um, you can go to um, DSNBK.org mm -hmm. and um, just from there you can find out more about the Legacy Society. Legacy so Society has its own uh, web, web page. Um, but and you can just uh, link off of it. You can link right off of it. Um, but, you know, there's lots of ways that you can give to developmental services, you know. Um, uh, you know, you can be specific with your donation. You can have it be restricted if you just want it to go to, say, the Consumer Medical Fund, which the uh, Consumer Medical Fund helps our individuals pay for things that are not covered by their Medicaid. Um, so there are things like uh, eyeglasses and, and uh, prescri some prescriptions and some dental and some things like that are not covered. and. Uh, that medical fund that we've established um, basically allows them to be able to get some of those things that they need. Um, so you can donate to s just specifically to the medical fund um, or you can be specific to uh, one of our group homes or a developmental center or however. If you just give a, an unrestricted donation, we call that a Project Rose donation and that goes into our general fund and just helps us to operate. 
So a lot of ways to give and help out DSNWK. Been around for 50 years now, so you guys are doing something right and helping a lot of a lot of people out there in the area. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in the second half of the show. We're going to talk. We're going to talk about a party. You want to do that? Let's do it. We'll talk about a party. The second half of the show. Again, our guest today, uh, Director of Development at DSNWK, Steve Kyle. I'm Mike Kerner, in for Gary Shorman this week on the forum. Brought to you by Hayes Med. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. Are you frustrated with Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? It happens when you don't have Pulse, the cutting-edge Wi-Fi solution from Eagle Communications. A Pulse-certified Eagle technician maps your home, then installs a dual-band modem and router, plus discreet access points to deliver wall-to-wall Wi-Fi with no dead zones. Pulse powers all your family's devices in all the places you love to live. Get Pulse. Wi-Fi made simple. Only from Eagle Communications. Call today. Hello, I'm Mike Kerner. Welcome back to the forum. In for Gary Shorman this week. And our guest this week is Steve Kyle, Director of uh, Development at DSNWK. Drop for a second there. <laughs> That's okay. But Steve and I have been talking about 50 years DSNWK has been in the community. And it doesn't seem like 50 years, but well, it's a long time. And you guys have helped a lot of people out in the area, haven't you? We have. Uh, yeah, 50 years, long time. Started in 1967. And we started right here in Hayes. Uh, we started at uh, a barracks, there used to be a barracks down at Fort Hayes State University mm -hmm. that some parents uh, locally here got together and decided we want services for our kids and, and uh, they kind of renovated the barracks down there and started providing services down there and it grew after the first year or two they were serving 10 or 15 uh, people down there and it just slowly continued to, to grow and grow and here we are. 50 years later, serving 500 people. Did it start out as DSNWK? No, it didn't. It started as Homer B. Reed Adjustment and Training Center. And that um, was how it started in Hayes. And then there were some other folks that were getting some services going in other communities in Northwest Kansas as well. So in Graham County, uh, started with Kobler Developmental Center, and that started in just about a year later in 68. And then in 73, I believe, um, in Rollins County, um, services uh, began at Prairie Developmental Center um, out by Atwood. So um, in 1976, there was basically a merger of all those services and became developmental services of Northwest Kansas serving 18 counties. So now it's all under one umbrella now. All and under it one works, umbrella. Works, mm -hmm. and it runs out of Hayes, is that where the, it all runs out of? Yes, our administrative kind offices of are here. Mm -hmm. Corporate office, okay. Yeah. So DSNWK, been around a long time, it's evolved quite a bit. Uh, it's probably better that you can serve a lot of people and it, it's grown so much because you one center now can get all those resources and work on all those grants for, for everybody. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we've come a long way. We've you know, went from serving just a few people and and uh, started a lot of programs for a lot of people. So we're pretty proud. And you've so. had a lot of people that uh, have graduated from the programs are cut out on their own right now too, I'll bet. <laughs> oh, you know, we do. Ha we have a lot of people that are very independent and, and uh, doing very well. Let's talk about the big party because we promoted that in mm -hmm. the uh, end of the sh first half. But there's a big party coming. But this is kind of a party that's been around for a little bit, but it's going to be kind of a special one this year because it's the 50th anniversary. Yeah. Well, every year, um, we've, we had a, you know, I call it kind of like a company picnic, I guess, and we called it Fall Fest. And it was basically, it was a chance for all of our individuals from all of our locations to be able to get together in one place and have fun. And, uh, you know, we always would have a dance and games and, you know, different things for them. And, and uh, it was a great turnout and a lot of fun, but with it being our 50 years, we thought, you know, when everybody gets together, um, we will have a... Um, we're going to have Jimmy D that's going to play and it's going to be at Kennedy Middle School and we'll you know all get together and eat and like we usually do and and uh, we plan on having kind of a little balloon launch and you know those kinds of things for our people and and so it should be a it should be a fun day. Now we'll be busing and driving in people from all the other locations all too? The, yeah all the locations will come and like I said it's it's really it's a it's a party, I guess, for our individuals that we serve and our staff. And, uh, 
you know, we've done it every year, and it's just kind of, we're just t kicking it up a notch, I guess. So. I guess a lot of those people uh, probably uh, love seeing this because they, they probably, this is like one time a year they get to see some other people too. Well, you know, it really is. Fresh you know, faces. There's some individuals that may, you know, used to live in Atwood or they used to live in Hill City, but they don't live there anymore. They moved to Hayes for one reason or another, and they have friends that, mm -hmm. you know, they grew up with in Atwood or in Hill City or, you know, Hayes or wherever. And so when they, we finally get together, they do. They see a lot of old friends that that are important to them or, you know, even it's just people that they saw last year at the last sure. event. Um, so it's a great time for them to be able to see each other. And for, you know, some individuals, it's kind of like their summer vacation for the year, so. And looking forward to it too with a big band. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's all coming up. And the balloon launch, what's that all about? Well, you know, we just want to have, um, I guess just a, to take a picture for that one moment when we're all together. And so we're gonna have 50, 50 balloons and uh, we're going to all kind of get together and, and our staff and individuals we serve are all going to get together for one uh, group photo and uh, after the photo we'll let the balloons go and it'll be a good time. Very so. good. And now also uh, that the, the dance and the meal that's for the the people that you serve right but also the, there's open house that's happening about the same yeah. time. Now the community we have they're definitely invited to our open house and that is going to happen at Redevelopmental Center and the address is 317 West 13th right here in Hayes, and uh, it'll be from four to six, and uh, they're welcome to come. Um, and what's the date on that one? It is still, it's the same date. Okay. Same date, September the 29th, um, and the chamber will be there. They're gonna do a ribbon cutting uh, for us, and we uh, will have um, drinks and hors d'oeuvres and you know those kinds of things, but it'll be a chance to um, kind of see some of um, our displays, each of our locations are going to create their own display. Um, we'll kind of have a t walking timeline is what we call it. We'll have some pictures of, of kind of how we've started from 1967 to now with some pictures and information and, and uh, they can kind of walk through and kind of see how we started and where we ended up. Um, so um, of course, you know, Jerry, our, Jerry Michaud, our president, will, will talk a little bit and I'm sure the chamber uh, person will also We'll talk as well and, and you know, just a chance to uh, see what we're all about. All right, so a lot of great things happening with DSNWK. Also coming up, the 50th anniversary and the party and the open house. So a lot of things do, are coming up. So Absolutely. Congratulations on the 50 years. I Thank know you, you haven't been there the whole time. No, I haven't <laughs> been there the whole time. Maybe it kind of seems like I have, uh, but I've been there for a good part of it, about at least over half of it, I think. So. Well, Steve Kyle is our guest today, Director of Development with DSNWK. I want to thank him for coming in today. I want to thank Gary Shorman for allowing me to host today. Again, this is The Forum. It's brought to you by Hayes Med. Again, thank you for joining us here on Eagle Communications Television. It's a beautiful day in our super high-speed internet great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee-owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature-laden phone service, quality TV channels, all with the level of customer service you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications. Our community connected.